loose on the ground, putting it down. Get up, get up. Get up. I got something to tell you. I don't think they want you to know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Best selling researcher Mickey D. I host The Scoop. I want to thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to be on your electronic device. My friends, today, ladies and gentlemen, I am issuing an all out assault, an all out alert on African uranium stocks. Now, as you know, many of you know, the scoop is for your education, your entertainment, your information only. I'm not a stockbroker, not a money manager, not a financial advisor, my friends. The information you're about to hear, uh, you may be hearing for the first time. So if you are, welcome to the scoop. My friends, I am the baby knockout goat, as they call me here. What are baby knockouts? Baby knockouts are companies that are little companies that grow up to be big companies, guys. That's the bottom line. They have something special about them. And that's what we feel about some of these African uranium super trade stocks that we're going to talk about here in a second. My friends. Um, these baby knockouts, uh, I've been doing this, guys, since the dot-coms. Been doing this for years and years and years. And we've had a lot of success with doing a lot of these different stocks here. Guys, you can make a lot of, lot of dinero, is kind of what they say here, uh, in the desert southwest where I am, my friends. Well, my friends, I've been writ read, writing about this forever. I make a lot of mistakes and stuff. How to Invest in Uranium Now is a, a one of the books that we have out there. I have my top 10 uranium stocks in there. Uh, also, Marijuana and Vanadium uh, Today. Uh, uh, Marijuana Today, Marijuana Today, Vanadium and Uranium Tomorrow, Companies Getting Early Hold and Grow Rich is another one of the books out there. I think. But no, and I want the OGs to weigh in on this, guys. Something's happening in Africa right now. Now, when I was doing this research in Africa, the African uh, marijuana gold mine, Rich Mineral Soil Meets Wall Street, I was doing research for this, this book here, and we were finding out that, you know, some of the uh, African uh, farms had been there for nearly 5,000 years, you know, and they... Let's go to the Egyptians and a uh, thousand years, according to modern history, and over 300 years, they've been, you know, doctors and all that. And, you know, it's been, it's been well documented, but, you know, as, as many things we go over there and, you know, we find out what they're doing, we bring it back here. You know, they're crossbreeding these different strands. You know, we call it Charlotte's Web. We'll put a company out there called Charlotte's Web and everybody will buy it. Well, that's what's going on in Africa right now. So we try and say way ahead of the competition. Let me tell you what's going on in uranium right now. Uranium is going to be a, a savior, uh, let's say, uh, for America. Nuclear energy is going to be good. It's it's going to be good. You know, I'm not saying that because I've sailed around the world in nuclear period for years. I'm saying that because I see the benefits of nuclear energy. So does a, a, a lot of people around the world are seeing it right now. Governments around the world are seeing it right now. What's going on with these African companies? Africa right now, has big deposits, huge deposits. Now, they might not be high grade deposits, but they are huge deposits and they're respectable deposits that you can get to. The government says, okay, let's make a deal. You guys give us 20% of this and you guys can go ahead and bring your stuff in and we'll do it. We'll work with you. Whereas other countries, it may take years and years and years to get that done. It may take up to 20, 30 years to actually get those approvals and get that stuff done. Well, we need energy because people are going to be freezing this year. And that's where Africa comes in right now. These African companies, which I believe are well undervalued. <clears throat> excuse me. I give, <clears throat> excuse me. I give you an example. Some of these African uranium stocks in our African uranium super trade. I did issue an alert. And if you get our newsletter, uh, that alert for that stock, it's an all out back the truck up on that African uranium super trade stock. What's going on here is in Africa. So you can get built, you can get permits, you can get everything done. You can get approvals from the government. You ain't got to go through all this rigmarole stuff that you have to go through in other countries. Plus there's in a lot of these companies, Already, there's been millions and millions and hundreds of millions of dollars spent on these companies getting a mine ready. And all they have to do is refurbish it, do some rebuilding and all. But the, the legwork has been done. The approvals and everything has been done. Now, these companies 
are only valued i'm talking about the african countries african countries african countries right african countries are valued at they have a, a, a market cap maybe 200 million maybe a hundred million you know whereas these companies over here these other companies that are already you know don't they don't have any they don't have approvals they don't have permits or anything their value their market cap is a, a billion you know we've come down a little bit we've come down and then, oh geez you know we I'm, i know we're all mad because you know uh, what happened in fukushima we were on our, that was my second uranium bull market we were on our way you know we had an earthquake and we, we had a tsunami there in, in 2011 and we were on our way you know and and we thought that especially us that traded that 2004 2005 six and seven oh we love that that was such a great time it was a great run-up but now my friends this third uranium bull market this has the potential to be the greatest of them all now these companies that will only produce maybe 500 million maybe 250 million pounds a year maybe 100 million pounds a, uh, i'm sorry 250,000 pounds a year thousands see because we're talking thousands with united states companies and with some canadian companies we're talking millions we're talking hundreds of millions of pounds when you're talking about the african companies so the african companies i'll give you an example take just the, the maybe the average company there in africa in our african uranium super trade and you guys all my private students have this information you know they may be able to produce say uh i'd say maybe three million pounds a year let's say two million two three four million pounds a year that's coming that's just the african companies with 200 and 300 million dollar market caps right now right now some of them are under 100 million you know under two 200 300 million dollar market caps right now now the, on the other hand you've got companies that are not even close or any site of production and they've got market caps of almost billion dollars you know and they won't be getting they'll be maybe doing a million you got you got smaller company small companies small producers versus the african can be huge producers sure the grade is is less my friends and they everybody will tell you grade is everything grade is well grade is not everything as the chinese found out if it's two miles under water below uh you know all kinds of levels and you got to get through it and, and build a mine come on man who are you guys fooling you know so you know although i, I love companies in the access base you guys know that i have said for years by i'll give you i buy canada or you know buy australia buy africa you know buy the united states you said buy buy these companies but right now guys africa right now let's focus on our african uranium super trade this is an all-out alert buy africa buy our african uranium super trade stocks if you don't know what they are i'll leave a link up here guys and you can get some of these stocks people never even heard of See, we've been Af in africa for a long time for a long time looking in africa guys and we have the goods right now and we know where those areas are where they're going to be able to do production uh they're going to be able to come online within a year you know uh within a year and a half two years these guys are going to be up and rolling now i can't say that for companies in the united states i can't say that for companies some companies in australia we did do a company in australia that's going to be on its way uh, uh there's a few companies in canada you know there's companies out there but my friends i say to you that these african companies with a whole lot boatloads of uranium you know i don't I mean, we're not worried about the grade we're worried about the chinese are worried about getting boatloads of uranium and they're going right to africa you know they're bypassing everybody else you know of course Kastatum prom is doing its thing but guys buy consider buying i can't tell you to buy sell or hold anything nothing i say should be misinterpreted as investment advice look at africa guys that's my message to you today look at those african trends review your newsletter guys and also when you're looking at your newsletter look at it let's go to let's let's segue over to our our next trade you know we were in this trade super early i mean when paladin was two 
three, four, five cents. I told you, you know, it's about 40 cents USD now. Right, then get in, get you back the truck up on these African Uranian, some of these African Uranian super trades now, because there's a pullback. This is a viable pullback, guys. Segway, lithium penny stocks is out right now, guys. Low risk, high reward investing. It's out right now. There's lithium penny stocks in there right now. Make sure you guys get your copy of that. No, I don't have any free copies to give out because they've said, hey, Mickey D, uh, you got to make Amazon some money. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, anyway, love you. God bless you guys. Take care of you and your family. Once again, my message to you is to look at the African uranium super trades. We have some baby knockouts in there that are fantastic. And uh, you're going to do very, very well in the future. Love you. God bless you. Take care of you and your family. Hey, mom, next week, I'll be getting with my mom. Mom wanted to give a shout out to all you guys for praying for her and talking to her and uh, uh, your thoughts and wishes and all. You know, my mom went through brain surgery and stuff, and she appreciates all of you. So she'll be giving us a shout out. Also, next week, we may be uh, with Lawrence Stripling. Lawrence has uh, uh, a uh, silver book out, gold silver guy. He's going to be on the show also. Also, guys, what are the comedians doing nowadays? You know, now that, that that the market is going down and people weren't going out, how did the comedians and not only comedians, the actors and the actresses and all those people in, in, in entertainment, how did they, we'll talk about that, guys. Uh, we'll have a special guest. We'll have comedian Malika E will be joining us, uh, hopefully in the studio here in a few days. Love you. God bless you. Take care of you and your family.